Right now, I am driving a 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch Edition. So yeah, I did it. I bought a Bronco. Now, I could try to justify it a bunch of different ways and saying, well, I thought about this. No, I don't want to justify it. I wanted a Bronco. That's all there is to it. I just think they are badass. This color is not the color that I thought about getting. I thought about a lighter color. And then I saw this and all the like little sparklies in it and stuff, this antimatter blue. And I'm just like, you know what? This is pretty dope. Now, this colorway lends itself to a more progressive or new school way of kind of uh, kitting out this project and when I say project of course it's going to be a project I'm going to mess around with it I've been talking to Von Gittin Jr the drift racer he's got a company called RTR and they do a bunch of different things for a bunch of different vehicles but the Bronco is one of them and he's got an incredible kit that we're thinking about kitting out this particular vehicle to it's already really amazing and badass as it is but it's gonna be really badass if you've seen his stuff. I've kind of always wanted a Ford Bronco. The only reason I didn't is because they went away for a couple of years. I've had a lot of other Ford products. I have a Ford Raptor. I've had other pickup trucks. I had an Explorer. Uh, I actually had a diesel 250 at one point in time when the diesel wasn't so great. Now it's really good. I always wanted a Bronco. And for some reason, I, you know, I wound up with a Jeep at one point in time. And I loved my Jeep. It's, it's a, awesome vehicle. But when the new Broncos got announced, I freaked out and I had to have one. At least I thought I did. And then I thought, wow, I already have a Raptor. I have an off-road vehicle. I have a big gas guzzler. I need an electric car to just get around town and just use my Raptor to off-road and do all that kind of stuff. But I drove a couple of electric cars and I think they're awesome and the speed and the pickup is insane, especially on the Mustang Mach-E. The thing is, is that it's a great vehicle. I mean, it, I mean, your head snaps back when you stomp that accelerator. I mean, it's just, it is wicked fast. But at the end of the day, it just didn't speak to me the way the Bronco did. I am not in four-wheel drive right now. So you're not really off-roading, in my opinion, until you have to use four-wheel drive. Is anybody with me on that? I guess that's arguable. A lot of desert racers are only two-wheel drive, so I shouldn't say that. up here see this is when you're by yourself you don't know what to do I am in four-wheel drive now by the way I just I feel like I could do that felt good I you know I'm gonna go up that hill I need to go up that hill it's little it's a little hill we're gonna do it anyway So I said I was gonna do a bunch of off-roading and I'm not, but I do wanna show you something that's really amazing. This has something called trail turn assist, which basically locks the back and then the front pulls and you can just spin. <laughs> you like spin around, like you don't have to do a three-point turn in the middle of a trail. All right, so I'm just gonna turn around right here. I 
crazy to be off tour now because on tour it was just so intense all the time and now it's like it's mellowed out hugely and I love it both on tour and off tour but honestly if I had my family with me I could be on tour indefinitely. It really doesn't bother me. So I know a lot of people are gonna have questions like, hey, you know, how much did it cost? Did you pay over sticker? All this kind of stuff. I'm not gonna answer those kind of questions. I got this from the, bought this from the service manager at Gallup and Ford. I did it through uh, Brandon Bachman, who's a friend of mine. And uh, it was, it is used, uh, but it's like, perfect it's literally perfect and i know how good of shape this thing is in it's starting to cool off now a little bit it's kind of crazy that we're right on the brink of halloween not too long from now like a month away just a little while ago i felt like i was just ramping up for spring and then for summer in the tour so it's a little crazy to be off tour i feel like i earned this and uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun in it. You're gonna see it in some other videos in the future. Make sure to subscribe to The Poison Drummer and please, please check out my other channel, Ricky Rockets Legend Tripping. If you like creepy stories, if you like urban legends, that's what I do on that channel. And uh, it's, it's a, I put a lot of time and effort into those videos. I'd really love for you to see some of that stuff, especially now that Halloween's coming up, you're gonna love it. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you like this video and ring the bell so that you get notifications when I upload new videos. By subscribing, it doesn't mean that you're going to get spammed. It just means if you go on YouTube and you're hanging out, and it will t let you know if I have a new video. There'll just be a little red mark next to my name. That's all. That's all it does. Take care of each other and keep rock alive.